we're using the graphing calculator here to do a hypothesis test with the p-value method. So let's read this problem. It says some researchers think that divorce is more likely when a couple marries at a young age. One researcher claims that the average divorced male was younger than 25 on the day of his wedding. A study of 33 divorced males shows their average age on the day of their wedding was 24.3 with a standard deviation of two and a half years. At the 3% significance level and the, at the 3% significance level, use the p-value method to test the researcher's claim. So there's a typo here. It should say use the p-value method to test the researcher's claim. Okay, so let's see how to use the graphing calculator to solve this problem. Before we start, we should do the things that the calculator cannot do for us, which is namely to express the claim, um, get HO, HA, and then list the data from the problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and write down the claim here. So I can see right underneath this uh, right above this sheet of white paper, I see the statement that tells me the claim. It says, one researcher claims that the average divorced male was younger than 25 on the day of his wedding. So I'm going to say the claim here is that the average was less than 25. The average age of a married man who's divorced later on is under the age of 25 when he was married. Okay, so that's our claim. Now, HOHA goes underneath that. So if we look at the symbol in the claim, we'll recognize that the claim is the same as HA because it has a less than symbol, one of the symbols we use in HA, and HO will be greater than or equal to 25, right? So the opposite of less than. All right, at that point, the next thing we need is the data, right? So let's write down the data from the problem. So if we move this down, we'll see that the data involved um, it said a study of 33 divorced males, so the n is 33. It says their average age on the day of the wedding was 24.3, and the standard deviation was 2.5. And, and then they tell us the significance level is 3%. So let's go ahead and fill all that in then for this problem. So we know that the data then involves an n, an x bar value, a standard deviation, and an alpha, right? So there were 33 people in the study. It says their average age was 24.3, and it said their standard deviation was two and a half, right? The significance level was 0 0.03. Okay, so there's your data that you're gonna need for the calculator. Okay, so you have your claim, you have your HO, you have your HA, and you have your data. It's time now to use the calculator to come up with the test stat and the p-value. So since we're using the p-value method, all we really care about is that p-value. That p-value will really solve the problem for us. We'll be able to compare it against alpha and come up with a conclusion. So let's go ahead and see what the calculator says about the p-value. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to enter my or enter my data into the function that does this for us. I'm going to press the stat key, arrow over to where it says test, and we have our first option, the z-test. I'm using the z-test because my sample size is large. Again, if you're in a more formal class, you'll also be looking for the population standard deviation to be known. We only have the sample standard deviation here, so it doesn't really fit that. But in my class, I allow my students to use a z-test as long as the sample size is large. Let's just do this problem with the z-test procedure. Right? All right, so we have summary statistics, right? We don't have the raw data, so I'm going to highlight stats. Come down here, I want to put the symbol from HO, which is 25, or the number, I should say, from HO, which is 25. And then I want the standard deviation, which we're going to use 2.5 there. Then come down to the x bar value, that's 24.3. And lastly, the n, which is 33. And then finally, the symbol we find in HA. The symbol we find in HA is a less than symbol. So we're going to come over here and hit enter on that. And then finally, calculate. It tells me the test stat, but more importantly, it tells me the p-value is 0 0.0539. 0 0.0539. Okay, so now I know my p-value is, again, if you look at it here in the calculator, it's 0 0.0539. All right? Now, with that value known, we compare it against alpha to finish the problem. So we're going to simply say, well, in this case, the p-value is larger than alpha, right? So since p is greater than alpha, we do not reject. Do not reject HO. And that means we do not support HA. And that's our initial conclusion. 
And then from there, you can figure out the rest of it, of course. Um, since our claim is HA, we're going to say we do not support the claim. So the sample data does not support the claim that the average age is less than 25. Even though our X bar was less than 25, basically this is close enough to 25 that perhaps it's actually equal to 25 and not less than 25, or perhaps it could even be more than 25. So basically the data is not strong enough to support the claim.